Hello everyone and welcome back to the Banterweight Boxing YouTube channel with me, your host, Michael Waite. And I hope everyone's had a good Tuesday, Wednesday tomorrow, hump day, nearly Friday, nearly Saturday, baby. Um, <laughs> in the work shirt as always, uh, just got back from work, seen the news about Tyson Fury and AJ and I thought, got to get this camera on, got to make a video. So if you haven't heard, Fury has come out and said that his fight with AJ is off. He gave AJ the deadline of 5 p.m. Monday. And of course that time has passed and the contract hasn't been signed. So Fury said, sorry mate, time's up. The fight is off the table. Now, what are my thoughts about this? Well, I think it's bloody ridiculous, really. Um, you know, a fight of that magnitude on that size will take ages to to arrange and get the contract signed and get all the legal legalities sorted. Um, you know, we're talking about money, probably roughly around 100 million, that kind of mark, if not more. We're talking about serious money here where you, you of course, you want your legal team to go over the contract. Um, you know, there's TV rights, all this kind of stuff that needs to be sorted. Um, so it's a a fight of this magnitude is basically going to take a long time to get arranged. I thought as well the fight was progressing, you know, creating the fight was actually progressing quite quickly considering um, Fury's team had sent over the terms and within a week or so, AJ's team had agreed to it um, and stuff was moving quite, you know, quite nicely. Um, Hearn was talking positively. Uh, Frank Warren was talking positively. Well, I thought this fight actually might happen. But sadly, um, the boxing fan's dream has been shattered with Tyson Fury's comments today. Um, am I surprised about the fight not happening? Or, well, I say not happening, looking like it's not going to happen. No, not really. If you go back and see my original video where I'm like a, you know, a, a kid in the candy store hearing about this fight potentially happening, there is a part of me holding back where I think, look, I've seen Tyson Fury do this a few times where he kind of teases um, a mega fight for the fans and then out of nowhere the fight completely cuts out and we hear him fighting or hear about him fighting a lesser opponent uh, you know we saw this before with Tyson Fury after he won against Wilder that third fight you're thinking look he's got the belt AJ's got the belt let's make the fight simple there's all talks there's all you know Tyson talking to Eddie Hearn interviews and you think this fight's gonna actually happen and then boom you know, it's taken away. No, fight's not happening. Um, and you're just left a bit like, what the hell happened there? And it seems to be the same case here. Uh, so no, I'm not particularly shocked that it's not happening. Uh, realistically, if you look at it from Tyson Fury's perspective, perspective um, does it make a lot of sense to make this fight? Probably not. Yes, it's a good time to fight AJ because confidence-wise, he's probably not, at his best, he's looked a bit shaky in his last fights. Um, so in that sense, it's a good time to fight AJ. But really, Fury's got his eyes set on one fight, and that's Usyk. He's got the opportunity now to unify the belts, be the first British heavyweight to do that since Lennox Lewis. Uh, that's not a small feat whatsoever. And also for Tyson Fury, I think um, that fight with AJ is always going to be there us British fight fans will tune into that when they're both 50 years old. So why take the risk now when, you know, you are throwing AJ a bone. Like, AJ hasn't got anything really to bring to the table at the moment. He hasn't got any belts. Um, he's lost his last fight. Uh, for, for Fury, he's in the driving seat. And whether you, you know, whether you're a Fury, Fury fan or not, or an AJ fan or not, you have to admit that although I favour Fury in that fight, AJ poses um, a lot of danger, a lot of danger, hard hitter, got a, still got a you know, good chance against Fury, against Fury in their fight. So why would Fury take the risk before he has that fight with Usyk? It just doesn't really make that kind of, uh, that logical sense. And Fury's a smart guy. He's, he's played his comeback very well, got himself in a very good position. And I'm, I'm not sure he's willing to take that risk against AJ. That's not to say that Fury's scared of AJ. I don't believe that at all. But if you're just thinking about it, like, you know, in a smart promoter's perspective, take an easy fight, wait till Usyk's ready, and then make the Usyk fight. Get those belts, you know, or try and get those belts against Usyk, 
and then see where you go from there. And then you've got a chance to fight AJ or, or, or whatever. So um, I'm not surprised that Fury's not particularly keen for it. And he, he, he can't be. He can't be keen for it because he knows this fight would take ages to organise. Why would you give a deadline of Monday at 5pm? You'd give AJ time. AJ's clearly up for it. He's vocal about it on social media. He's, um, you know, agreed to the terms, the 60-40, all of that. He's clearly game for it. But I think Fury's, it's gotten a bit too close to actually happening. And Fury's just set an, a ridiculous timeline and given himself a get out of free jail card and not going for the fight. Um, Fury has now spoken about fighting Emmanuel Char, which just... Pfft, I've got no words for it. I don't even really want to talk about it. It's like, that is the most nothing fight I've ever heard. Um, Emmanuel Charles Char as well, he's calling him out on social media. They're trying to make that fight. It's, that probably that fight probably will happen next. Um, and it will be that kind of layover fight so that Fury could then go and fight Usyk afterwards. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty gutting. I think anyone with any boxing sense in the boxing world knows... You know, Fury's kind of taking the mickey here. Feel a bit sorry for AJ, but it is what it is. Um, there's still hope. I'm sure Frank Warren is emailing away as we speak, doing everything in his power to keep this fight together. Um, but I, I've got little hope that it will that it will go ahead now. Um, White has also spoken about the whole saga, being quite critical of Fury about his time frames. But he also has said that he'd be game for the fight with AJ. Um, and to be honest, if we missed out on the Fury AJ fight but got AJ White rematch, I'd be pretty happy. You know, I wouldn't be happy, but um, I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. It's not that that's an exciting fight. And um, will AJ take that? Possibly, possibly. It's a dangerous fight. Um, a fight I still think AJ's got a good chance of winning. Um, but yeah, that could be an interesting one. So maybe, you know, um, a little silver lining. In this in this thunderstorm but yeah let me know what your thoughts are have you still got hope that the fight's going to happen are you shocked at all I, i'm not particularly uh but yeah we'll, we'll see um hopefully they do pull it out of the bag but if you have enjoyed this video do like and subscribe we're growing the channel uh it's exciting stuff a lot happening in the boxing world right now uh so yeah do hit the like button if you enjoyed and subscribe join the journey and uh, if you've got Instagram, I'm on Instagram, Banterweight Boxing. Um, constantly posting on there, giving you updates in the boxing world. So if you want to stay up to date, I'd highly recommend following that. But thank you all for listening and have a good evening. And I'll see you soon. Bye.